Hey guys, Rusty Fennell here at Highway 80 Rescue Mission. And we want to just walk you through our building real quick, give you a tour, let you see the great things that are going on here at Highway 80 Rescue Mission. I'm here at our back door. This is where we receive all of our donations. And come on in, let's show you what's happening here at the mission. So this is our kitchen here at Highway 80 Rescue Mission. We're getting ready for dinner right now. You know, our kitchen gets uh, graded by the health department we've got today, and we're so excited about that. We make sure that we serve the best meals possible. We serve about 450 meals every single day here at the Mission. That number goes up as the weather gets hotter, and we just thank you for all your support in helping us serve the meals. Meals are open to the community, so come by anytime and eat with us if you'd like. I'm going to show you our dorm room now. You can see where our men sleep. So these are this is our dorm room here at the Mission. There are 74 bunk beds in here, and almost every single night, every one of them is full. In fact, we'll have people on mats sleeping out front. That's just how many people we serve here uh, every night here at the Mission. It's so important for us to be able to provide safety and shelter from the weather and from all the elements that men uh, might be facing out there. And it's why we make sure that we don't turn away anybody that comes in through the doors of Highway 80 Rescue Mission. Let me take you into our day room now and show you. This is the day room here at Highway to Rescue Mission. Uh, men are able to be here during the daytime as they wait for case management meetings, as they work on getting a plan together uh, to gain independence, uh, be out of the elements. Uh, we really want to be that shelter for the storm, uh, and we're able to provide that here at Highway to Rescue Mission. Uh, most of these men are working on a case plan to move towards self-sufficiency. It's so important that we help every single person who comes through our doors by giving them a plan to help them move towards independence. Come with us now, I'm going to take you into our program area. You can see some of the great things that are happening back there also. You know, we are so grateful for the doctors and the nurses and the nursing students and the nurse practitioners that volunteer here in our clinic. That's right, Highway Lady Rescue Mission is able to provide a clinic two days out of the month for the men and women who stay with us. It's so important because it keeps men out of the emergency room, it helps men get their vital medication, their blood pressure medication, their diabetes medication, it helps make sure that men who are sick actually have the opportunity to get better and get well. And we're just incredibly appreciative of all those who volunteer to make our clinic possible. Uh, men are able to come in here and get prescriptions, they're able to get blood work done. This clinic is a huge help to many in our population. Now I'm going to show you the computer lab. The computer lab is a great place for you to volunteer, so come take a look at it also. I'm in here in our computer lab at Highway 80 Rescue Mission. Men in here right now are uh, doing job applications, searching online for work, filling out resumes. They can do social networking in here. The computer lab is a great place for you to be able to volunteer and help our men. You know, we've had men reconnect with family that they haven't seen in 30 years. We've had men get jobs because of an application they filled out here in our computer lab. So this is just a great opportunity for you to help us, volunteer down with us, help these men and make the steps towards self-sufficiency that they need. You know, in addition to the 80 to 90 men who stay each night with us as guests, we have another 50 men who are in our new creation discipleship program. They've realized that to change their life, they've got to make major changes, and they've surrendered to a 10-month discipleship program. These are some of the men in the program, and they're here in our classroom. They're doing their Bible studies, their workbook studies. Uh, they're making the efforts to bring about lifelong change. There's an incredible commitment to the men in the program, and we're just excited to see each and every one of them as they grow in Christ and as they make the changes necessary to live victoriously. Now I want to show you our weight room. You know, we want to make sure that we're doing everything to provide not only spiritually and mentally for our men, but physically as well. So let's go take a look at the weight room. Here's our weight room here at Highway 80 Risk Commission. These are some of the men in the New Creation Discipleship Program. This gives them a chance to work out, to exercise, to stay healthy. And a lot of guys come into the mission and they've kind of messed up their bodies through years of addiction. And this helps them get back in shape, get physically fit, so that when they leave the mission, they're able to make it successfully. And again, you want to have a place to volunteer, come down here and teach a class for us on physical fitness or cardiac health. We would love that. Just another great way to offer uh, an opportunity to help. Now I'm going to show you our chapel and show you where we have our chapel services. This is our chapel. Uh, we have chapel services seven nights a week. And almost every one of those nights is volunteer driven as we have volunteers come and lead in our chapel service. You know, last year we had over 200 people accept Christ right here in this chapel service. And really that's what we're about. Uh, you know, we're going to use the physical tools of food, clothing, and shelter. 
and we're going to make sure that everybody who stays with us is fed. We're going to make sure everybody who stays with us has a warm, safe place to stay, uh, has clean clothes to wear. But we're going to use those tools as an opportunity to share the life-changing power of the gospel with everybody who comes through our doors. We're going to do that in our chapel services, in our case management, in our program. We're going to allow the mission to be the place where Jesus Christ interacts with our men and women and has the opportunity to transform their lives. Thank you for taking this tour with us. We'd love for you to come out and help us and support us. If you've got any questions at any time, call the mission or stop by yourself. We'll give you an actual tour, and we would love to have you partner with us in the great things that are happening here at Highway 80 Rescue Mission. God bless.